Hi, and welcome back to Just the Plants, ma'am, where we make plants for the people. Today is Wednesday, February 20th, and it is day three of week eight of my 12-week tour to vegan. 12 different vegan diets in 12 weeks. Why? Because I had diet boredom. So do all the diets. Why not? This week it's liquid land and that means as long as it's liquid, I get to enjoy it. We're not worried about too many rules this week. As long as I'm not drinking like liquid ice cream, I'm considering this week a success. Liquid ice cream doesn't count because that's made of fruit. But if I was like boiling down some Ben and Jerry's, this would be a problem. <laughs> All right, all right. So let's get this day started and see what I'm going to drink today. 10.59 a.m. and I am at the Safeway because they have my kids juice ready for me to pick up and I need some lemons and maybe some oranges and I got my favorite parking spot right beside the carts. And then after that, I'm going to go over there to the booster juice and get myself a wheatgrass and any kind of juice I want today. Maybe I'll get two juices. Mm. Ah, I haven't, I haven't had anything to eat yet today. And that's what my tongue looks like. Ah, ah. Gross, fuzzy. I know people always say that they get the furry tongue when they're just doing liquids. So, fun. 11.30 a.m. and I took a very long time perusing the menu today. And I have to say that I really enjoy the booster juice menu setup where it tells you the amount of calories per size of drink. That's Phenomenal. Every place should have to do this. Everywhere. I was chatting with the booster juice guy while he was making my wheatgrass shots about the ease of growing wheatgrass. And he said that wheatgrass was not easy to keep alive. And I am already a natural born plant killer. I kill all plants, so wheatgrass would not be for me. 11.38 a.m. and I've got my hail to the kale and a double shot of wheatgrass with the orange juice chaser. Yes, this is the exact same thing I got the last time, but I loved it. I'm just going home right away. I decided to forego taking a straw and I'll just use a reusable straw when I get home or just drink it like that. But Look at me being all kinds of good. I got myself a chai latte today, you guys, from Second Cup. 1.46 p.m. and I'm finally finishing this booster juice. I drank half of it, plus all of the chai latte earlier, so finishing it off now. 1.56 p.m. and even though I've already had a chai latte, I still need my happy morning hot drink with calf lip, cacao powder, and four dates. Remember when I thought I couldn't survive without my coffee? Well, now I'm thinking that I'm not going to be able to survive without this next week, but I know that I will. 4.33 p.m. and I am definitely in the mood for a smoothie. I need something that's filling. So I made one with about one and a half bananas, four dates, some peanut butter powder, and really cold water. Does anybody else really enjoy using takeout cups at home because it just makes it feel like fancier? <laughs> 6.48 p.m. and it is definitely broth time. So I'm going to start with some Mrs. Dash no salt garlic seasoning. Then I'm going to add more garlic powder because garlic powder is always amazing. Then we're going to dump in at least two tablespoons, I would say, of peanut butter powder, because it's worth it. 
probably about a tablespoon of miso that is super stuck to my spoon. Forgot to show you guys how much uh, red Thai curry paste I put in there, but I would say it was probably about a teaspoon. Then you just want to mix everything up and make sure that there's no lumps. That's why I like to put just a little bit of water in first. Make sure everything is nice and smooth. Then you add a bunch of water because if you're trying to make stuff really smooth at the bottom of a big watery bowl of soup, it's just going to take you forever and it's going to be annoying. So do it my way if you want to do it the easy way. I tried so hard to make my soup something that I would absolutely adore without a little bit of this bullion, but I can't do it. It needs that better than bullion kick. There's just something about it that makes everything taste magical. If I had to choose one kind of soup stock to have for the rest of my life, it would be the better than bullion no chicken soup base. 8.24 p.m. The soup was good and all, but I need a smoothie. I need some calories. There's no calories in soup stock, okay? But we're going to make a small smoothie. We only use like a cup of water, so we're only using a one and a half bananas and maybe a quarter cup of blueberries. Usually I'd put like five to six dates in a smoothie because this is a small smoothie. We're only using three dates. I found this tiny little bottle of Vitamineral Green. So, because I'm lazy and I don't want to juice greens, I'm just going to sprinkle some in my smoothie. Since I put the green powder in there, I definitely do not want to forget the vanilla at all. I'm obviously scared to pour the vanilla because it's taking me a very long time to do this. Very long. Yes, I'm reusing my booster juice cup again because... Like I said before, it makes every drink just seem a little bit more special. It feels like somebody else made it for me and my mom made baked potatoes. I'm trying to just be enthusiastic about my shake, but all I smell is the smell of sweet, sweet baked potatoes. Yep, it's in a special cup, so it's special. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm not thinking about baked potatoes. No, nope. loving my smoothie. Just, just loving my smoothie. It's 11.13 at night and I am drinking some Smooth Move tea with a whole lemon in it. A little tart and some maple syrup because I have an appointment with my colon hydrotherapist tomorrow and I need some movement. So I'm drinking the Smooth Move Tea. I took some Cascara Sagrada, I think that's what it's called, and some Black Walnut Hall. So, um, yeah. Trying to get things going for tomorrow's festivities. All right, I gotta get back to editing. I just had to update, because I made my tea and my phone was downstairs charging, so I couldn't bring you guys with me to show you how I made it but it was just a lemon squeezed and a tea bag and some maple syrup yeah all right good night guys thank you so much for joining me on this what I drank in a day edition of just the plants ma'am I hope you pretty plant people have a glorious day and you guys join me to see what I'll be drinking tomorrow maybe I'll switch things up a bit Maybe I won't. Who knows? Find out tomorrow. Okay.